Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Kelvin Wilson of We Do Movies. And 2017 was here. It conquered. It was a lot of weird stuff that happened. And it was a lot of uh, movies that came out this year. So what I want to do is I want to give you my top five movies of 2017. Starting with number five. And that is Wonder Woman. Starring Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, and directed by Patty Jenkins. Now, this is the fourth or maybe... Yeah, it's probably like the fourth film in the DC Entertainment Live Action Universe, whatever you want to call it. So, we had Man of Steel. We had... Uh, Batman vs. Superman, we had Suicide Squad, and now we have Wonder Woman. Now, Suicide Squad is w what it is. I enjoy Batman vs. Superman, the unrated edition of that. The theatrical edition to me was kind of choppy, but I thought that the unrated version did do a lot of explaining, and it made for a better film. And, of course, um, everybody knows, especially if you know me, knows I'm not a Superman fan, but I loved uh, loved Man of Steel. So, I digress. So, we're going to talk about Wonder Woman and why I thought that Wonder Woman was one of the best films of 2017. Now, the only thing that, the two things that sucked to me about Wonder Woman was its third act. It was le kind of left to be desired, but most third acts are kind of like that a little bit, especially when you're dealing with comic book movies. The second thing that sucked about it is we've had a lot of Superman movies. And as much as everybody knows that I'm a Batman fan, love Batman, but we've had a lot of Batman movies. So why did it take 2017 for us to finally get a Wonder Woman movie. Now granted. You know. It could be a number of reasons. But it seems like. You know. Women and minorities. Have a tough time trying to. Break into. Uh, getting. Roles. And trying to trying to set a trend. So Wonder Woman is a very iconic character. Like, she is the Holy Trinity of DC. So, if you're going to do a Superman movie, you're going to do a Batman movie, wouldn't a logical step be a Wonder Woman movie? And and we finally got one, and I'm not complaining about the movie. I'm just complaining about the fact that it took this long for us to get it. Now, Gal Gadot, I remember when everybody was just saying... Like, they didn't know if she was going to be a good Wonder Woman or she couldn't act. She was in the Fast movies and, and she didn't really do that much. So she can't do this, this and that. But when she showed up and Batman versus Superman, it changed a lot of people's minds. And when Wonder Woman came out, that definitely changed more minds. Wonder Woman was a very, very good, beautiful uh, film. It was a typical origin story, yes. And in some ways, it, it just had to be told that way. Like, I, I, I liken Wonder Woman to the Marvel's uh, first Avenger, Captain America's first Avenger, where you had to tell that story the origin story in the time period it was supposed to be in, which was, which was amazing. I think for Wonder Woman, it really, really did a lot for me as far as my liking of it. Although I didn't really care for the Captain America first Avenger movie. Like I thought it was okay, but for some reason, the Wonder Woman, it just blew my mind. And I think that's just, Patty Jenkins working her magic. Patty Jenkins did an excellent job conveying what she wanted to beauty, darkness, hope, love, which are the themes of this movie, especially love. And and I just thought that Gal Gadot 
for what people say say about her as far as her acting ability. I think she embodies Wonder Woman. I think she will forever be Wonder Woman. She will always be known as Wonder Woman because she owns that character so well. I thought Chris Pine did an excellent do- job as Steve Trevor. I liked the uh, the location that they have at Themyscira. Like uh, just that that whole setting with the Amazons and and the gods and that that story breakdown and Ares. You know, I I thought that Ares as far as the villain was kind of uh like like most um superhero villains in, in these movies and everybody always talks about there's a villain problem, some with the villain. But comic books have always been gen- genuinely about the heroes. And yes, you might have a villain that can match up with them, but then you have these other obscure villains that really don't go toe to toe with the with our heroes. But the, but the comic books to me and I could be wrong about this, it has always had something to do with the heroes. And we follow Princess Diana and her story from Themyscira to try to stop this war to realizing that um, that that you have to have love in order to to defeat hate. Love conquers hate all the time, and that was the beautiful message that 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 movie conveyed. I really did enjoy this movie a lot. Wonder Woman was such a spectacular movie. It was a game changer, and I can't wait to see what Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot does for uh, Wonder Woman 2. And again, like even with Justice League, let's just talk about Justice League for a minute. Like Justice League, for the mistakes that it had, just like with... Batman vs. Superman was still an enjoyable film, and Gal Gadot once again shined as Wonder Woman. So she owns that role. I don't care what nobody says. She owns that role. But that was my top, that's my fifth movie and my top five movies of 2017. I'll be back uh, later on, maybe with the uh, fourth film in, in the entry. And until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.